Hi, I'm Mary Rink. I'm a junior at George F. Baker, and I'm the upcoming president of the National Honor Society. I'm Zach Messick. Uh, I'm a senior, and I'm president of the school, and I'm involved with student council. Hi, my name is Brian Dalton, and I'm in 10th grade. My name is Armando Gonzalez. I, I am a junior here at George F. Baker. Um, hi, my name is Dan. I'm a senior at George F. Baker. My name is Matt Willens, and I'm in 11th grade at George F. Baker, and I am a member of the Drama Club, and I'm currently one of the roles in our musical. My name is Jay Cordy. Um, I'm a sophomore. My name is Liam Hessen, and I am a junior. Hi, I'm Brett Buckley, and I'm a 10th grader currently attending George F. Baker High School. Hi, my name is um, Anthony Nowak. I moved here my sophomore year to Greenwood Lake, New York. Um, from West Milford, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Robert Van Doren. I'm an alumni of George F. Baker High School. Uh, I was involved in the tech department. My name is Heidi Willens, and I'm a ninth grader currently at George F. Baker High School. Hi, my name is Alyssa Pichello. I'm a senior at George F. Baker High School. Um, I am in the production team. Hi, my name is Matt Leo. I'm, in, uh, I'm a sophomore, grade 10. And I'm part of tech, and I play soccer for the school on varsity. Hi, my name is Brandon Labar, and I'm a 12th grader in the George F. Baker School District. I'm Robert Schreiner, a freshman class president. This is my first year attending Tuxedo High School. My modified wrestling coach was a Tuxedo graduate. Uh, my coach now is the athletic director at Tuxedo. Um, the student student body is really small, and we've all grown up together, and it's just. It, there's a real sense of community and family. Tuxedo, for me, is probably the greatest choice I could have ever made. I mean, I've been here all my life. Tuxedo is my home. It really is. Uh, it's given me a chance to express myself in ways that I normally couldn't. And through acting, I can portray myself as anything I want to, and the school has a great production. Uh, I love the school because it's like one giant family. This is a great school. Everybody's family. The teachers, they all, it's not like big schools where teachers barely know who you are. Everybody knows you're on a personal level here. Um, you learn every teacher, even if you're not in their classes, just walking around because they're always in the hallway. You recognize everyone walking by. There's no um, people that you're like not going to see. Everyone's welcome. I personally, this is my senior year, so honestly, if if I didn't care about this, if I didn't care about the school, if I didn't care about anything, like I wouldn't even be here supporting this. I wouldn't be doing this interview right now. But I care so much about the school. My sister, I want my sister to come here. I want my, my cousin, my cousin who's in seventh grade. I want him to come here. I want. I have other family members that might possibly be coming through here at some time. And I want everybody to get a chance to come here because I love this school for the past four years so much. I, my freshman year, I didn't know three quarters of the kids that were coming into my grade, and just being in their presence made me feel accepted. No, they didn't even know who I was, and I still felt like I could be a part of them, like I could be their friend almost instantaneously. I want to keep the school open because we're a unity, and we don't, we don't see each other as a different person, and we don't segregate from each other, and there's not groups of people. It's almost as if we're one big family, and uh, that's why I want the school to stay open, because no other school is like ours. Walking around the school, and just knowing everybody's name, knowing everybody personally, and like there's not, there's everyone's friends here. There's not, there's not like a, a fight. There's never like really fights. We're all close together. And to split up the grade, even in when we were in eighth grade, to split up half, almost half our grade, was really, really like, really rough. Um, the students and the teachers have an amazing connection, and obviously you can't find it anywhere else. You just bond as a whole group instead of everybody judging and like wanting to be the best. I really do love this school. It's something that you can't give up. It's being with all these people, the experiences, the memories, all these ideas that you get from these people. It just it just rubs off on you. The great thing is uh, it allows you to stand out and it allows you to know everybody, to know them well and, and to create a family environment. Like we joke around like during the musical, while we're all eating, we'll just <laughs> break down in song and just start singing. All the clubs you join, you go and join the musical, or you want to try something new, you'll be accepted immediately. There's no judgment. That's why I got get involved with things here. That's why I'm in student council. That's why I'm in basketball. That's why I'm in baseball. So all those things, all those things, they make me, they just, it makes me sad when the thought that 
other people won't have the chance of coming here. It's just not, it's not fair to them, I don't think. And because of this school, I found out what I want to do in my life. So I now attend Niagara University for uh, design tech and theater. And I would really love it if my sister could graduate the school because coming from such a great small family school and being able to visit and have everybody know your name and a very warm, welcome place is a great thing. Um, Georgia Baker is a really special place and some of the things like the teacher-student relationships aren't ones that you'd find anywhere else. It's, it's been a lot for me. It really has. The staff here is friendly, they're personalized, they know their students, they love their students, and they know how and what they need to do. They provide you know, the tools that you need to succeed, the motivation that you need to succeed, and, uh, and it's really helped me progress. And your education, it'll be ten times better than going to a large school where there are at least like 40 kids in a classroom. Small class is like, it's nice in, in like a way because you know everyone. You don't have to like look at someone or pretend to know them like you do. It's, it's a it's like natural and like a normal kind of thing. Small class size is definitely the best thing because with the bigger classes people tend to get lost and confused. We have small classes and we have more we have more than enough teachers to support like all the kids here. So if you're if you're a kid and you have a problem and you're not that problem you're not gonna have a problem getting back to the teacher and having them like come help you. You'll be able you'll be able to get the help, find the help that you need from that teacher. Um, going here for the past three years, I've learned that just it's very, it's easier to go to a small school where teachers can focus on you more. There's there's actually some really great teachers here. Like like shout out to Ms. Jones. You can get help after class. They can focus on your exact needs where you wouldn't find in a lot of other places that are bigger than that. Tuxedo staff, because the school is so small have a lot more time and a lot more energy to focus on individuals. Every teacher in this school cares about you personally. It's something special because in bigger schools, teachers can't have that interaction with you. They won't, they just can't because there's so many other kids. The hallways are usually crowded. In Tuxedo, hallways really aren't that crowded. You see all these people, you always are able to say hi to somebody that you know because you know everyone. And it's just a really, really special experience. Uh, the first day I walked into the school of ninth grade, you know, the week before I was crying because I was really scared because high school is a big thing. And the uh, first day I walked in here, uh, I was really, really happy with my experience here and with all my teachers and friends and all my classes. Socially, I didn't have many friends in middle school or elementary. It was a class of maybe 20, 21 and it was rough. You either had one friend or you had none. And when I came here, my one friend multiplied to 19 friends within the first couple weeks. It was a great thing. I didn't know half the kids that I know now when I came into the school. You know, I'm from Greenwood Lake. Mostly other kids from here are from Tuxedo, so stuff like that. I got, you know, we came in here not expecting the Everybody expect nobody expected to get along with Tuxedo Kids. Nobody Tuxedo Kids didn't expect to get along with us. But we came in here and some of my best friends now are from Tuxedo. Some kids that I'll be I'm hoping to be involved with for the rest of my life, they're not from the same town as I am. Kids who might not normally come out for a wrestling team will come out uh, if they know that they'll be with their friends and they know everybody. You know, it's not like you're running into a group of new guys. These are people that you've known, you've grown up with for the most part, and uh, you get to meet them, you get to have great experiences with them. And, and it's a team environment unlike any other. I know people that have graduated three, four years ago and I still keep in very close contact with them because the people you meet here are so special. Last year, just this season, was the best soccer team I've ever been on in my life. And I've been playing soccer since I was five years old. Um, and like other people have said, Greenwood Lakers um, not really kind of scared going into it. And Greenwood Lakers are scared coming into seeing Tuxedo Kids for the first time as well. And Within the first week, I had friends of the whole grade, and it was really, really nice. Uh, making friends is easy because everyone's just easygoing. They'll accept you for her, whoever you are. Uh, it was really special having everybody compete in the sections, having everybody do well. This was the best year in tuxedo wrestling history. Uh, we took third in the section for the first time. 
and we did it with only you know 10 wrestlers competing and it was it was a special experience uh, for everybody involved and I know every student who walks into the school although they say every day you know I don't want to go to school by the end of the day I know every single person is leaving with a smile on their face and with this charter it's it's introducing more than just tuxedo now it's having kids from all over the place and it, Having that opportunity to meet all these different people, all these different groups of people, all these different kids, just a great opportunity for everybody. Tuxedo is a great school. Tuxedo is a great opportunity. Um, I have a sibling, uh, two grades below me, sophomore year, that she absolutely was ecstatic to go here for her freshman year. If the school shut down, I'd be so upset. I've been in the school for four years. I spent almost every free time I have up in the balcony doing shows and productions for the school. If it's shut down, I can't see my sister or cousins graduate. It would be heartbreaking. The charter being passed um, would mean the world to everyone here. I know personally as a junior, um, I want to stay here. This is the only school I want to go to. If I had a choice, I would stay here for as long as I possibly could. I was here when Greenwood Lake threatened to take Tuxedo off the ballot, and I remember the meeting we went to at the Board of Ed, and everyone fought for it to stay on. I've been in the elementary school just across the street for who knows how long and coming here was like a high school or going to college. It was just... Everybody brings each other up and boosts each other and like tries to make each other better as like a group, as a family. Small things like that is what really brings a community, or in this case two, two communities, together. The STEM program in our school is different than ones in the surrounding areas because it implements everyone. Every incoming freshman is, um, has an active role in the new divergent thinking that STEM offers. Even people like me who are going to be a senior next year and weren't freshmen when the STEM program was first implemented are going to have access to these internships and, and if you want to go into a science or technological field there will be pathways for you even if you haven't stuck with the freshman foundations or sophomore STEM and R. The science, technology, and engineering programs greatly benefit the needs that society sees today and I think Georgia Baker is definitely the place for that to start. I know personally I want to go into engineering in the future and that uh, the STEM Academy being implemented has really sort of guided me towards wanting to become an engineer. I see the, uh, the way some of my friends from, from work and etc uh, and their schools operate and I don't think that they get the, uh, the in-depth learning that we get at Tuxedo because uh, you know they learn facts they learn only uh, you know facts and information but we learn how to think about facts how to process facts uh, how to analyze the information that we're seeing and how to be creative. The charter school in this school is just a great thing. It's because everybody has a chance to do whatever they can here. They all, everybody has a chance to go out. They get the same opportunity that anybody does, and it's not unfair. It's not biased, and it's just a very accepting place. Yeah, I got into also Don Bosco, uh, Burt, St. Mary's, and I chose Tuxedo because I knew that everyone here would be the most friendliest, and it was just the perfect fit for me. And I'm just going to jump right into it and say that, you know, probably most of you, I think I'm pretty sure most of your kids, if you have kids, don't go to our school. But I know if you did, they would love it. And I think your opinion on the school would be very, very positive. I would, the school cannot go down. It can. There are so many other kids who need this opportunity. And that's why I feel this place needs to stay open. And even when given the choice, both going into my sophomore year and my junior year to go to Chester or Warwick, I chose Tuxedo, and I want to choose it again. These last four years have been some of the greatest times of my life. I, I just hate to see this place shut down. It's, it's the second home we all wish we had. It's just a great thing to be a part of. I think that we should, everybody should get the opportunity, if they want, to come here. And by not passing the charter, you're not giving them that chance. It's not bad or anything like it's just paradise here and I really wouldn't ask for any other school besides Tuxedo STEM so uh, yeah Woo. I want to be given the opportunity to be able to finish out an amazing high school experience at one of the most amazing schools I can think of and I really hope that you take that into consideration when you make the choice and I would love to stay here and 
I think this charter should be passed because it would just further our um, further our education and like I said it would help a lot of students um, narrow down what they want to do in college and I would be very very proud if I could say that I graduated from Tuxedo George F. Baker High School. Thank you. I'm uh, Jerry Gutierrez. I'm a senior at George F. Baker High School in Tuxedo, New York. And a lot of people are here to say that, you know, they've had a good time at the school, that they had great classes, that their teachers were good, and that they like everything about being here, and that they're going to miss it when they go off to college and all that. But not a lot of people have said a lot about the people that could come here. So I'm here to say, as someone who's been here, that the people who could come here in the future have a lot of things here that you're not going to get a lot of other places. You're going to have more, more options here than you would in many other places because we are the size that we are and because we have the programs we have and the people we have in those programs. Um, this is my first and last and only year here, I hope. Um, and, you know, I, I haven't been here for very long, but I already feel like I've been part of this for a while. The people at this school are accepting, kind, caring. They reach out, and, you know, no one's... There's no one who isn't accepted by some group, whether if you... If you don't come here one day, first day of school, and you don't know anyone, someone's going to come reach out to you. Someone new is going to talk to you. You're going to find people, and that's what I did. And when I came here, I didn't think I would. I thought I'd just go through the whole year quietly and not do much, but I very quickly found that you can't really do that here. You, you find people that are important to you, people that help you, people that are there for you. You don't get that at a lot of high schools because it's, it's high school. Everyone's concentrated on going to college and, you know, or, you know, homework or whatever like that. Teachers are concentrated on getting a paycheck here. It's much more than that. Teachers aren't just concentrated on getting paid week to week and giving nightly homework. They're... I've had several teachers just this year tell me that, you know, if as a student, as a person, I ever needed anything that I, they would be there, you know, instead of just, you know, I'm here to get paid, I'm here to this, I'm here to that. There's a lot of students here who, in a regular high school, would probably just sit through classes, talk to their close friends at lunch, and go home. But there are kids here that embrace everything that this school is. They stay way later than other people do to do what they want to do to get what they want to get done. There are people that, you know, work with very hectic schedules and still make time to have friends and have relationships and all that because they're able to do that here. They're able to concentrate on other things because it's not just about going through the motions. It's more than just a school, I guess, is what I'm saying.